Hold on to your Big Macs and iPhones, folks, because things are getting spicy in the Middle Kingdom. China, once a gold mine for American companies like Apple and McDonald's, seems to be losing its appetite for all things USA. The landscape is shifting, and it's not just a minor tremor. Remember when everyone thought China would be guzzling Coca-Cola and worshipping at the altar of Apple for decades to come? Those days might be numbered. Well, the dragon has other plans. It's not just about food and gadgets, it's about a broader cultural and economic shift. Chinese consumers are turning their backs on these American icons, and it's sending shockwaves all the way to Wall Street. The once bustling McDonald's outlets are seeing fewer customers, and Apple stores aren't as crowded as they used to be. So what's behind this seismic shift? Is it a growing sense of nationalism, a push for local brands, or something more complex? Is it just a blip in the economic radar? Or is this the beginning of the end for US dominance in the world's biggest market? Analysts are scratching their heads trying to make sense of it all. Buckle up because we're diving head first into the fascinating and slightly terrifying world of US-China relations. From trade wars to tech battles, the stakes have never been higher. Stay tuned as we unravel the complexities of this global power struggle. Let's talk economics, folks. The good times, it seems, aren't rolling forever. Remember those trade wars everyone was freaking out about a few years ago? Turns out slapping tariffs on everything under the sun might have some unintended consequences. Who knew? This economic slowdown has made Chinese consumers a bit more cautious with their yuan. Why splurge on a fancy new iPhone when your wallet's feeling a little lighter than usual? But hold on, folks, because it's not just about the economy. This is China, after all, where politics and business are about as inseparable as noodles and soup. Nationalism is on the rise in China, and with it comes a healthy dose of suspicion towards anything foreign, especially if it has an American flag on it. Add to that the Chinese government's recent crackdown on foreign companies, and you've got a recipe for American businesses to get very, very nervous. It's tough to sell burgers and phones when the government's breathing down your neck. But here's the thing. Even if the economy was booming and the government was handing out free Apple products, there's no guarantee American companies would be raking in the dough like they used to. Why? Because the Chinese consumer is changing, my friends. They're more discerning, more sophisticated, and they're no longer content with just any old product, even if it does have a fancy American logo slapped on it. They want quality, they want innovation, and they want brands that understand their values. And let's be honest, sometimes Made in America doesn't quite have the same ring to it as it used to. Homegrown heroes from Huawei to Hot Pot. And guess what? While America's been busy patting itself on the back for inventing the internet, you're welcome, world, China's been quietly building its own corporate champions. Huawei, Xiaomi, Alibaba, Tencent. These aren't just random words, folks. These are powerhouses, homegrown heroes that are taking on American giants and winning. They offer cutting-edge technology, sleek design, and they actually understand the Chinese market. And it's not just tech. From fashion to food, Chinese brands are popping up everywhere, offering consumers local alternatives that are often cheaper. And dare we say it better than their American counterparts. Apple and McDonald's feel the bite. So what happens when you combine rising nationalism, changing consumer tastes and a new breed of fierce local competitors? You get a complex and challenging environment for global giants, the economic landscape is shifting, and companies that once dominated the market are now facing unprecedented challenges. You get a big fat reality check for American businesses like Apple and McDonald's. These companies, which have long enjoyed success and popularity, are now grappling with the harsh realities of a changing market. The days of easy dominance are over, and they must adapt or risk being left behind. Apple, once the undisputed king of cool in China, has seen its sales plummet. The brand that once symbolized innovation and status is now struggling to maintain its foothold. The allure of the iPhone is fading as consumers seek alternatives that offer similar features at a more affordable price. Turns out those shiny new iPhones aren't quite as irresistible when Huawei is offering similar features for a fraction of the price. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. Huawei, a local competitor, has capitalized on this shift, providing high-quality smartphones that meet the needs of the market without the hefty price tag. Consumers are making more pragmatic choices, and Apple is feeling the impact. And McDonald's, the ubiquitous symbol of American fast food, is struggling to keep up with local chains offering tastier and often healthier options. The fast food giant is finding it difficult to compete with the diverse and flavorful offerings of local cuisine. The Chinese market is evolving, and McDonald's must innovate to stay relevant. 
Turns out those Big Macs and fries don't quite cut it when you can get a delicious bowl of lunch show noodles down the street. The preference for local flavors and healthier options is reshaping the fast food landscape. McDonald's must rethink its strategy to cater to the changing tastes and preferences of Chinese consumers. The challenge is clear adapt or face the consequences. Can US businesses survive the dragon's fire? So the big question is, can American companies still make it in China? With the ever-changing dynamics of the global market, this question has never been more relevant. Is there any hope for the future, or are we witnessing the beginning of the end for us business dominance? The economic landscape is shifting and the challenges are mounting. Well folks, the good news is it's not all doom and gloom. There are still opportunities to be seized and markets to be explored. The Chinese market is vast, complex and constantly evolving. It's a land of immense potential, but also one of significant hurdles. And while it's true that American businesses are facing some serious challenges, it's not impossible to adapt and thrive. Reason and flexibility are key, but it's going to take some serious soul-searching, some innovative thinking, and maybe just maybe a little humility. Companies need to understand the local culture and consumer behavior deeply. The days of simply showing up and expecting Chinese consumers to throw money at anything with an American flag on it are long gone. Businesses must now earn their place in the market through genuine engagement and value. Collaboration with local partners, understanding regional nuances, and offering tailored solutions are the new mantras for success. The future may be uncertain, but with the right strategies, American businesses can still find a way to thrive in the dragon's fire. Swimming with the tide, strategies for success. So what can American companies do to navigate this new, more challenging landscape? How can they win back the hearts and wallets of Chinese consumers? Here are a few ideas. First, listen up. Understand the market, the culture, and what Chinese consumers actually want. Hint, it's not always about being the biggest or the loudest. Second, think local, act local. Partner with Chinese companies, invest in local talent, and tailor your products and services to the specific needs of the Chinese market. Third, innovate or die. The Chinese market is incredibly competitive, so you need to bring your A-game, offer something unique, something special, something that Chinese consumers can't get anywhere else. Adapt or die the future of US business in China. The bottom line is this. China is no longer a guaranteed win for American businesses. It's a complex, dynamic market that requires a nuanced and adaptable approach. Those companies that are willing to evolve, to listen, to learn, and to truly understand the Chinese consumer will be the ones that succeed. But those that cling to outdated strategies that underestimate the competition, or that fail to adapt to the changing landscape risk being left behind. The future of US business in China depends on it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. If you want to learn more about the challenges facing US companies in China, be sure to check out our video on the rise of Huawei and the future of the tech industry. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.